hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to start with the react crowd application using laravel api okay so guys basically we have developed the api in laravel and the link is given in the description so you can find how to create a rest api in laravel and after that creating the rest api in laravel then you can continue with the react crud application okay so now guys as simple let's get started from the scratch so now guys as simple let's go to docs and move to this sidebar here create new react app so let's click on it and here is a command so let me move below create a react app with this help of command so make sure your node version is above than 14 and npm is 5.6 so it should be greater than this requirements done guys and now let us get back here is a root folder which is one of a byte inside this i want to create a project so for that let us create one folder named react react crud so now guys let us open this in our vs code editor so let's open with code okay so now guys let's start with the new terminal so open your new terminal and begin with creating your react app so now you can now let's get back and just copy this command so here make sure you are copying this npx create react app and this will be your app name okay let's get back and paste here and the app name i am going to install this react app in the same folder so i am going to just add dot here so hit enter and let me full width here creating new react app in this path as simple now let us just wait guys until it gets installed so now guys our react app is successfully installed so now guys you can just run this command npm start and start the application so let me minimize first and here let's type as npm start and hit enter okay so here our uh, server is started guys on the localhost 3000 so it will automatically open it so you can see here perfect so our application is served guys and now let us begin with creating the pages so you need to go back and go to your package.json and there you need to check guys does it have react router dom and we don't have a router to navigate the pages so guys what we need to do we need to install the react router dom that is version 6 to open a new terminal here so let's install the react router guys here so npm install react hyphen router hyphen dom okay just hit enter so here you see our the react router is installed and the version is now 6.8.1 okay so we are on the latest version right now let's close the package file and get back to the first terminal and now guys let us begin with creating the pages so as simple first we are going to app.js file and see what is happening over there so here we are just the design of this react app so now guys i don't require this i'm going to remove this totally so let's move back and start with a simple div open and close div okay and i don't need the css and logo so let's remove it not required anything and now guys here in this index.js okay what is happening over there so in this index.js you see that app is been called okay this app h2 tag hello funda and now let's save it and now you should see hello funda it's visible okay so now guys let's get back and now let us begin with creating the pages so in the nsrc folder i am going to create one new folder with the name pages so pages hit enter and now inside this i am going to create a files that is home.js and again one new file named about.js and another file named contact.js dot js done so these three files are created and now guys let us write the function here function the function name is home and let's export this 
export default home and here just return open and close bracket and start with your div tag and here you start with h1 tag and tell home page and let's copy this guys completely and paste in our about us page and here you change to about just do control d d d three times it will select all and now guys let us copy this and paste in your contact.js so in my contact.js file i am going to control d d d and do contact okay all set so now guys you can get back to your app.js file and here what i'm going to do i'm going to call home.js file okay home so you need to import this i'll show you import home from the path okay so from current directory i'm going to pages slash home or you can add this dot js also okay so it's not mandatory but you can add let's save it and now you should see i'm home page refresh perfect home page and now guys we need to route to the particular pages so for that you can just follow up one more step you go to your app.js file and before that you need to index.js file here it is a react strict mode instead of react strict mode we have to make it to browser mode okay so let's comment this either you add it here or in your app.js file no worries okay and now guys i am going to add it here itself that is your browser router so let's import that first browser router react router dom now you can copy this and paste here open and close and here your browser ends and between this you have to paste your app component okay and now you get back to your app.js file and here we need to route it so for that create one separate file in your src folder create a folder named as router and inside this router i am going to create a index.js file index.js file and here create a function let's keep name as my router export default my router all set and now you can return whatever you want from here so now guys we are going to write the routes over here let's get back on the app so now we are going to use a a tag so instead of a tag we have to use a link tag and it is going to to equal to where home this is going to be home and then about us and then contact us as simple and this link you have to import it guys okay so import first import the react react from react and then you import this link so import open and close curly brace where inside this you have to add link from react router dom okay save it let me zoom it guys and now we need to write the routers guys so you need to go back import open and close curly brace from react router dom what are you going to import that is routes comma route here inside this return open tag and tell all the routes so all the routes we are going to write inside this routes tag and here inside this all the route you are going to define it okay route tag path equal to forward slash and here element equals to open and close curly brace and what element so this is this element is nothing but you are calling your pages that is your components okay so as we have called in app.js this is our component home page so this component you should call in your router routes okay on that route you have to call the home component so here you paste that and import that also what you have imported it let's control x 
and paste in your router index so make sure you are following the correct path so same way guys for the about let's go and paste here for the about and then again contact and here also you are going to tell contact as simple let's copy this paste paste two times and which is going to call on about and the component what you have made here paste it contact okay so now guys you just need to change the route so about and contact so instead of about or let's make it to us here about us contact us save it and now guys you just need to get back to your app.js and call the route my route so what was the function name my route and end it so let me copy it here my router okay let's copy this and paste it my routers here import that what is that my router from router index.js here from the current path go to router and then move to index.js save it compiled successfully now let's get back refresh and let's navigate guys so this is my home page and let's go on about okay it's not linking let us see from the url path about hyphen s here if you enter it goes to about us page perfect so guys i think we have missed that path let's go here okay we have added only the home path okay so now if you save now get back refresh cool so let's click on contact perfect so home about and contact us and now guys let us install the bootstrap to make more better design okay let's get back to our react app and just move to your new bash here and install the bootstrap so let us go to the getbootstrap.com and install the latest version okay so here is a npm command guys let us copy this and paste here hit enter our bootstrap is successfully installed and now you can get back here to the first bash so guys now we need to import the bootstrap so you just move to your index.js and user import code import in single quotes just add bootstrap and get back to and there we have to create a navbar so for that you can just create a component step guys so let us create one folder inside your src named compo nets okay hit enter and inside this i am going to create one file called navbar.js okay and now guys you can copy the navbar code from your getbootstrap.com go to your docs and move to navbar here we go let's copy this first navbar and remove the unwanted things which we don't require let us paste it so first i don't need this form so here you make it about us and let us copy this and paste again for the contact contact us so guys in react there is one common thing instead of class they use class name okay so what we have to do just control c control f find it and replace it okay so just type class name equal to double quotes and paste it all set and then guys instead of a tag you have to make it to link tag link tag and if your link tag is changed you have to import the class as simple so let us change this first and here i make it to link let us remove this so if the link comes means what you have to do instead of href you have to add two and give a path forward slash so here you copy this and make sure you are pasting for the navbar also so i missed that 
and now you can get below change for this about us forward slash about hyphen s and make it to link link tag and again let me copy this paste here and let's change this to contact okay all set and here let us remove this drop down we do not require just control x save and now guys what we have to do just control a control x and i have just cut that create a function named navbar open and close function return open and close bracket and paste here so a navbar is done now guys what we have to do export the navbar export default navbar and you are using a link inside this navbar so make sure you are importing it import link from react router dom save it and now guys i just want to add a simple class here shadow and instead of container fluid just make it to container save it so now guys you can get back on your app.js and instead of this we can use the navbar so let's remove this link and add navbar and close the import it guys import navbar from where go to the path and from the current directory go to the components and then navbar so components forward slash navbar dot js and here we are not using link you can remove it save it and now guys you can get back okay can't resolve this let us see what is the mistake oops we have made a file name mistake here instead of let's rename this file navbar.js so now guys we have successfully changed that file name and now it is compiled successfully okay so now we can get back and check so bootstrap is not yet loaded so what we can do let's get back on the index.js file and import the path so inside node modules just search for bootstrap bootstrap so here is a bootstrap and then go to dist css and then bootstrap main.css bootstrap dist slash css then bootstrap dot min dot css okay save it now you can get back let's refresh perfect so here you see guys that navbar has been loaded bootstrap is loaded and you can again get back to your navbar and just move that let me close this not required everything okay and here you just need to add one simple code instead of margin and auto margin start auto let's save so our navbar moves to right side and now if you refresh cool so let's click on home page home about and contact us perfect so guys we have successfully learned how to install our react application and install our react router also and create a component create a pages with the bootstrap design and integrated navbar also okay so guys in this video that's it and now guys let's get started with the crud application in next video okay so guys thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share